I'm here again today because we've got another product to review. Okay, so before we get into the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. back to my channel it's been a while ha ah, I've missed you guys so much so 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 much and I hope everyone is doing well I would like to say thank you so much to all my lovely subscribers who reached out to me to check up on me um, saying they've not seen me in a while but I'm here and I'm back and we're here with another review. Um, before we go ahead with the review for today, um, please, please, please subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell so that anytime I upload, you get a notification. I'm sure most of you are not going to get notifications now. You won't know that I am back. Rose is here again because you didn't turn on the bell. So anytime you see me here, um, you know that I've used a new product or I'm using something I like or I'm using something I hate or I used something I hate and I'm here to spill the tea, right? Okay, let's get into the tea okay guys now the product we're going to be reviewing today is this product right here this product right here I'll try to put a picture just in case um lay the beauty lay the beauty I think it means beauty milk is the h20 juice h20 days okay it's um, a bleaching body lotion with lemon natural extract fast action is actually written there fast action okay so this particular cream is made in Abidjan Abidjan is in um, Côte d'Ivoire is in Côte d'Ivoire yeah, in Africa so this cream is made in Abidjan and it says I'm gonna read what we have on the body lotion it says um, is a lightning body lotion conceived with lemon extracts it cleans the it cleans the body then gives a uniform and shiny tone its regular use protects your skin against sun aggression without irritation I don't know about that guys I don't know about that last statement it's regular use protects your skin against sun aggression without irritation let's open up the cream and see now firstly the smell the smell is the first thing that comes with this cream. What I mean is, when you make use of this cream, you have a particular smell, a particular odor. Like you walk into a place and even without people seeing you, they can actually perceive this cream on you. For me, that's a con. It's a different thing if it had like a sweet smelling or a very nice fragrance to it, you know? Yeah, it would be, it, it would be nice. But the this particular cream, the smell is so harsh. For me, it's like chemical. It's like I could, I could perceive the, the, the chemical, okay? It, it, it actually says it has lemon natural extract. So it could be the harsh smell of the lemon. Yeah, I can, I can get a, a bit of lemon um, um, smell in it. But for me, it has a very strong 
chemical smell that I personally, I do not like. You're entitled to your opinion. I'm entitled to mine. This is my opinion. Yes, the consistency. I'll show you what the consistency of the lotion is. Um, I'm going to turn the bottle now. I'll just turn it upside down and you see the way it comes out. I won't press it. I won't, I won't um, apply pressure to the container, okay? I'll just turn it over. Okay, you can see the way it's coming out. I'm just turning it over. Okay, so it's dripping out. Yes, it's normal for um, most lotions to do that. Well, in terms of moisturizing, uh, if I'm to rate it in terms of mo moisturizing, um, on a scale of one to 10, I think I'll give this maybe a five and a half, a five and a half, and to six okay let me give it a six we'll give it a six okay we'll give it a six over ten all right why i said this is because when you apply um the lotion to your body you know yeah. when you when you use a good moisturizer you would feel it your skin you know would feel pampered if you understand what i'm saying your skin will feel pampered i don't get that with this particular cream but in, case, in terms of moisturizing i think a six a six is good enough right it's okay now most of this um bleaching creams that we use you know you have to buy it with the sets some of them you buy the cream you buy the oil you buy the gel you buy the lightning tube you know they all come with like different sets i, I just bought this cream alone just this cream alone i didn't buy soap i didn't buy any other thing with it okay uh, most of these vision creams they'll tell you even when you're buying it they'll tell you oh um you need to buy um the serum with it you need to mix it with the serum for it to work this cream here it needs no help this particular lotion needs no help anytime you buy any product at all especially a skin product even when the manufacturers or the sellers tell you it is made of natural ingredients okay i still need you to be careful i still need you to check the ingredients written on that product if you don't know what it means any of the product just google it and you'll be able to get the information this is very important because when you begin to have skin reactions when you begin to have issues you need to know what was in this particular cream that might have caused this issue and then when you have another product what if they have exactly the same okay you go into a shop and you want to buy a cream you pick it up from the shelf and they have exactly the same ingredients just like your previous cream maybe the only difference there is the fragrance okay then you know it's no use you're still going to have the same issue you had with the previous cream so that one you're about to buy is also going to be a waste of money i hope i'm making sense here so it's always important for you to check the ingredients and with time you begin to understand your body you begin to understand your skin and you know what and what is good maybe you use a particular cream you see it has a particular ingredient and you see that every time you use that cream it's nice on your body you can't get that cream to buy you go to the shop and you have something else you can just look for something with similar ingredients and make use of okay so the ingredients in any product be it cream hair cream body cream anything at all is very very important now let's get to the ingredients of this particular lotion i keep calling it cream please don't mind me if i call it cream if i call it lotion you all know what i'm talking about okay all right guys so let's now talk about the ingredients that we have in the lotion okay i'll run through the ingredients and just talk about the ones that i feel um i want you to like take note of all right so the first ingredient we have here is water we have um isopropyl palmitate that's that's just um, a, a thickening agent okay it's put in the cream maybe to give it its thickening um so it helps with the formulation of the cream okay the consistency of the cream um we have glycerol stearate we have sodium laurel sodium laurel eta sulfate now this particular chemical is actually a drying agent is a is a surfactant but it's actually a drying agent it causes um 
irritation and inflammation okay but if it's necessary to be put in a product most of these things once once they're necessary to be added to a particular product to achieve a particular effect they must be done in the right proportion okay like i always say on my channel too much of everything is a mess okay so the manufacturers would have put it in the right proportion anyway we'll move on to the next ingredient here citric acid yeah citric acid you have citric acid in this which is also good because um for example if you want to get rid of um dead skin cells um you can make use of citric acid it actually helps to exfoliate the skin and that's why you have some people i also do it make use of lemon on our skin if you go to the spas or you go to places where skin is being treated they actually make use of citric acid during um exfoliation okay so it's okay being added to um a skin product another thing we have here is um, ascorbic acid ascorbic acid is um it's it's like ascorbic acid is it's an antioxidant okay so basically it helps to get rid of free radicals um let me see if you live in an area that is um polluted for example you live in um um you live close to or you live in an industrial area yeah if you live in an industrial area like church or better still you live in busy areas where you have a lot of vehicles buses cars and things passing by and emitting um gases okay these vehicles are emitting gases like um, carbon monoxide these gases are actually detrimental to our health so we need something we need um, an antioxidant to help to get rid of these harmful gases within us so that is where antioxidants comes in okay so things like ascorbic acid could help with that so some people even take ascorbic acid as tablets to actually help with that okay so it's all right ascorbic acid um it's got fragrance paraben another thing another thing i can see here is kojic acid yeah that's another prominent thing i can see here is kojic acid now in the skin and cosmetics industry today everyone is used to that name kojic acid we really don't understand but we just know that once a product has kojic acid that product is going to work that's the mentality we have we walk into the shop and we're scanning looking at products i think for our skins most of us will be going after products or if the seller brings oh madam this cream just came out it's really nice and you look at it and you see kojic acid you're happy because you know it's going to work right but have we ever sat down to think of how does this kojic acid actually work how does it um how does it work on the skin how does it bring about its lightning effect now i'll just briefly um talk about it now kojic acid is um actually what it does is it prevents the production of melanin okay so it inhibits the production of melanin in our body now melanin is it's, it's a natural pigment that is found in our body and it's in charge of the pigmentation so it's responsible for the pigmentation of our hair our eyes um, and our skin okay so um melanin is actually necessary in the body. Have, melanin in our skin actually protects us from um, harmful things like um, the uv ray um, ultraviolet radiation that we get from the sun when you go in the sun the melanin we have is actually what gives us that um, protection so i would say that someone with a high percentage or high concentration of melanin will be more protected when they are in the sun compared to one someone with a lower percentage of melanin okay and the more melanin you have the darker and the richer your skin okay so it's more protection for us so all these lightning agents what they actually do is that they strip off all these protections from our skin like melanin and that is how kojic acid actually brings about its lightning effect so I'll keep stressing this when you buy a product especially products you need to use on your body I need you to actually check take your time look at the ingredients the active ingredients in that product and see okay what and what is in this product even apart from the fact that you want to know which is good to know all right what if you make use of a product now and it's not good for your skin 
and then you toss that product away and then you say okay i'm going to the shop to buy a new product and you're buying exactly the same product but just with a different name and a different fragrance you get what i'm saying it has exactly the same ingredient with the previous one you're still going to get the same effect you had with the previous one but if you had known okay it had this 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 you will know okay i don't want something with this or i want something with this okay and with time when you get used to um going through um, the ingredients in each product you use and your body begins to um, adapt like when you use a particular product and you like it let's say you go to the shop and you can't find that particular product you can easily look for something similar to what you were using so it's necessary for you to always check okay necessary for you to always check what you have in each skin product you make use of I'll tell you within the first one week of making use of this cream, I could see the lightning effect. Cream, 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 cream. It's a lotion. Back again. 